In V1.2, we're going to take two approaches in order to work out which position of the sequence that 163 fits into. Before I can start, I have to work out my arithmetic sequence. I've got A, 10, and D is equal to 3. Once I've got the sequence, Tn is equal to 3n plus 7, I can then proceed to find the algebraic solution. What remains is transposition. the 52nd term. Now Casio class pad has an extremely handy sequence app on it. So if I select that, I'm given two choices, a recursive one, which you won't be looking at the moment, that's for first order difference equations, and an explicit one. I can then enter the equation 3, and use the end button, plus 7. Now Later on, if I wanted to, I could set up my sum display. I won't do that at the moment. And when I press enter, or exit, then I select the row function, you can see that these values are generated. Now, I'll need to go a little bit further than the fifth term, of course, because I'm not going to include 163 in that way. So what I'm going to have to do here is to select that option and we'll try 100. And then OK that. And then Back to the screen, pressing the sum button. And then you'll be able to just scroll down very carefully and find the actual term. Now the 52nd term gives us 163. You'll find that the calculator is an extremely handy tool to have here. And when I do try the sum button, that will give me the ability to be able to add up my terms as I go. And that's quite a common thing for us to have to use when we look at the series later on.